afternoon. We're doing a quick little lesson here on something that I think might be incredibly valuable for everybody, maybe across the country, might even be a solution to save the universe. Many of us know that there is something going around and it's called the lottery. And there's a huge amount available right now for people who are crazy enough to buy this ticket and don't do math very well because lottery is really just voluntary tax for the mathematically challenged. But slightly worse than that is the lack of math that happens in our country. So this is just a quick little snippet to give you an idea. For some of you who have seen, maybe even forwarded or shared this little thing that goes around that suggests that with $1.3 billion divided by a total of roughly 300 million people in our country, that if we just split that among everybody, it would somehow become $4.3 million that we would all get and poverty would be solved. Well, let me share a little bit of something that I learned back in the day. Don't even need an abacus because I have a whiteboard and whiteboards are awesome. So if you think about this, we're going to do some math. We are going to write out 1.3 billion, 1,300, 1 1.3 million, 1.3 billion dollars. Good? With me? Awesome. Now we're going to write out 300 million. 100,300 million. Now here's a trick that I learned in school that's really cool with doing math when you have lots of zeros. It makes it way easier. You can just strike the zeros and end up with a much easier equation. So we're going to strike zeros. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. 13 and 3. So now all we have to do, and I'm not going to do common core math because that's a little more complicated for me. Um, I'm starting to learn it, but I don't get it yet. But so old school, probably most of the people that watch this and that forward this are old school and we do math old school. So anyways, if we're going to divide three now into 13, let's see what we get. Four there, three times four is 12. That leaves me with one. I'm going to put a decimal point. I'm going to carry down my zero, 1.0. Three goes into 10, three times gives me nine. Subtract that out. Again, I'm going to carry down another zero. It's going to be a three again. You're going to see a trend here, right? This is going to keep happening. So what we end up is what? Mathematicians would call 4.3 repeating. If you put that into dollars, four dollars and thirty-three cents. Not four million, not four hundred thousand, not even four thousand. So what can we do with four dollars and thirty-three cents? Can we solve poverty? I don't know. I kind of don't think so. But what we might be able to do is if you win this, distribute it out to everybody, we all get to buy somebody almost a Subway sandwich or maybe a cup of coffee or something nice, awesome like that. So a, a nice coffee, maybe in a latte or a cappuccino or a mocha. And I would be willing to bet that $4.33 distributed out to every person in the United States would be such a phenomenon, you might actually solve poverty. The math is flawed what they were coming up with, but a latte for everybody, maybe a solution. Give us some thought.